Hey fans, well thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog. If you're curious what I'm actually doing today, well I got a non-Amazon unboxing for all of you, but it's a little bit of a different unboxing. It's kind of in this paper uh, envelope, should I say, and we're going to take a look at the parts inside of this uh, paper uh, package, should I say, because I'm actually thinking about building a brand new battery backup system. It's going to be a little bit different than my old one. Basically, it's about four years old. But yes, it still works just fine. But I would like to have two of them in case if the power does go out and I have one up here and actual one down stove. But I'm going to try to use a different type of battery instead of a sealed load asset battery. I might actually use a lithium ion battery instead. But let's open this up and see what we got. Let's go and let's have some fun, should I say. Let's go. I want to build a new ladle version of my battery backup system here because this one has a big old uh, sealed lead acid battery. It, it's pretty heavy and you need two hands to lift it, should I say. And we're going to put it off to the side and let's open up this package should i say i like building stuff it's kind of cool you know it's all about what you design and how you actually build your systems for battery backup purposes and stuff like that it's pretty cool and we got a bunch of stuff in here and all sorts of different little parts and I gladly show all of you that it's pretty nice let's go ahead and see if anything else is in there nothing else in there let's toss that off to the side and we'll take a look at all these different parts I got for the new battery bank let's go take a look at these parts okay let's talk about some of the parts for the battery backup system i'm thinking about building a new one the only thing i'm actually missing is the fuse block itself i hope that will be here soon for i can actually start wiring it should i say but let's talk about this you've seen this before in my previous uh battery backup system this is uh, the battery meter voltage checker and that's basically what I have here and this is pretty nice to have these are the red and black um, standoffs here for positives and negatives this is what I also have in my own battery bank as well these two items here are all the same and these two items here are also the same but I'm actually going to open one of these and let's take a look at these. This is the USB port for USB devices. You kind of notice you have your positives right there and your negatives right there. And this is going to hook up to the battery and that's pretty good. And let's take a look at this. And this is a very nice unit as well. I wanted to pick up something different. And this is what it actually looks like inside the box. We got a switch, 12 volt cigarette outlet, USB with a voltage needle as well. And let's open it up. And it does have all the wires and stuff ready to go. And that's pretty cool. Hey Chris, why don't you just upgrade the battery inside of your older battery backup system? Well, here's the thing with that, should I say? Yes, I can upgrade the battery in this, but the problem is I had to take it all apart to able to put a new battery inside of it. But this is why I'm building a whole new battery backup system, because when I actually buy the battery, I can actually place the battery inside of the battery case where I decide to actually put it and where all the pieces are going to actually fit. 
For example, with this auto system, it was already made four years ago. I built it myself four years ago, but I just don't want to take out a good working battery. The battery itself still works, it still charges. It's about 93% charged and that's not too bad for the cellular acid style battery. But if I'm going to build a new one, I'm going to probably use a lithium ion style battery to keep the weight down because the weight of this one is pretty dang heavy. You need two hands to actually pick it up and lift it. But alright, if you guys and girls are by the this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And thank you so much for watching. And have a nice day. Catch you in the next video.